Hey everybody, it's your boy Arl Knuckles aka the Entertainment Fan here to give you a recap of episode number two of the Challenge War of the Worlds. Now, excuse me, in the last recap, I was talking about how Final Record and the disappointment to the aspect of, you know, every episode it wasn't a challenge and elimination, it was just, you know, a challenge, the next episode will be elimination, because they really would fill the episode with a bunch of dumb drama. Like, I mean, drama, I mean, drama is what sells, but like, it was mainly on the Redemption House, which was just pointless. Like, it just didn't, like... It was just boring with the Redemption House in this one. And then, you know, they'll do a challenge. And then, you know, they saw the elimination and the drama, 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 drama. Like, it was just so dumb how things went. Now, this show, they just... They went straight to the episode, the, challenge, the first challenge in the first five minutes. Now, but before they got to the challenge... Um, Giles was happy that said that he was back, and he already knows a man this reputation. How you know, she has a she has bad blood with a lot of people in the house, and you know, that can always be a problem. Like if if everyone can't say you in the house, that you're gonna be enemy number one. Like if you look at a man this past, like in the first season, and um, all the it was, it was rivals three, she had the whole house go up against her because of her attitude. It's like you know, I get it. You don't want to change, but like. You got to play this game smart. And then, you know, then it was the, uh, then she made it far in, um, Battle of Amazing the Champions. Then she made it far because she had a good alliance and she was teaming up with Zach too and, um, Final Reckoning. So she had, she had her thing, like, she had some help in that aspect. But now Josh is like her only ally in this. So, and man has to be careful not getting get into an argument with Joss, because he's your ticket to the to the finals, so he really knows what's at stake, so they gotta work together, so like I said, they already started the challenge, like, already, and in the first, in the, I guess you call it the first challenge, I don't know, like, the first official challenge when everyone's in the house and whatnot was called Arms Again Entire, which is a whack name, but that's funny, so basically, it's basically, you know, a team against another team, out of the same sex against the same sex, in a tug war battle, so basically they have they have 400 feet of rope, and the and they gotta pull as much rope as they can. And as they get to the get to the end of the rope, they gotta like hold, play tug of war for five minutes. So honestly, it's like the whoever can like get the rope the fast spring is because pretty much once you get all the rope, it's so you just gotta stand there, look pretty, you know, hold that rope for like five minutes, and you're good. And once five minutes is over, TJ comes with a big ass mass truck and just crushes the cars, and that heats over. Now, how it is was that. Um, Teams got to select who they who they went up against. Granted, I didn't write down everyone who they went up against, but you know you saw um, the old noble matchup of John. They going up against Wes, and you had they called him out. They called him first. He had uh, I believe Josh. T Josh went up against went up against uh, um, Turbo. But yeah, so, so Josh and a man went up against Turbo and Nani, and Dion Carr went up against Georgia. And Georgia and Hunter. Now, the reason why I said these matches is because it's uh, it's top three. So just like in Vendettas, they you would form the Troika or whatever. So it's pretty much the same thing. Like you form the Troika. I it's a different name for this, but uh, basically, you know, the top three teams are safe for elimination, and they form the uh, little Troika thing to like, you know, pick who they want one elimination. Now, whoever now the two wins on this were. Johnny, Morgan, Cara, David, she didn't show that, yo, he's got some biases, man, he doesn't look like the biggest guy, but to go up against Hunter, a, a huge guy like that, shows, yo, they got some biases, man, like, it always comes to show you that it's not all about size, so, and, and uh, Josh and Amanda, now, I'm more happy for Josh, not for Amanda, and then Amanda says, oh, best partner ever, I'm like, oh, we'll see how long that lasts, so those three are safe, so they find the, the little form, they try, oh, yeah, Tribunal, yeah, Tribunal, so, as they discuss, and then about each, they pretty much get to pick three teams up for elimination, and it was pretty much a number. We saw what was happening. It was going to be, <coughs> well, Johnny and Johnny and uh, Ashley, you already know, they have a thing against uh, Hunter and Ashley, so they picked, so pretty much their foot was for Hunter and Georgia and Ashley and Chase. Yeah, Chase. I'm going to say, I was going to get ready to call him Chad again. God dang. And, Amanda was clearly was not going to say that because Ashley is her friend. Now, John brought up a good point. It's like, you're going to save the girl that, you know, that's kind of screwed you over in past challenges. And in reality, she, and she did because think about it this way, right? Um, well, 
you make the argument with the whole Zach, her and Zach, they went Zach would, wouldn't say Tony's name and whatnot, and, you know, they could have, um, at, and, uh, and Amanda wouldn't choose Ashley, like, they wouldn't choose one of their friends, so, may, maybe Ashley, almost, maybe Amanda would have chosen Ashley, who the hell knows, but it goes back to Invasion of Champions, when it, when there was a final was on the line, right, I'm pretty sure you all know this, when they came up against Nicole, pretty much, Amanda agreed to what, Amanda, what Ashley was saying, but Amanda sacrificed herself pretty much, and Ashley went on to the final, and she won that thing, so, Amanda, I mean, that's her friend, but Amanda really has to be long, long and thinking, but yo, I pretty much, I'm the reason why Ashley pretty much won, so Amanda might have to think about that a long time in the future, and you're gonna go save a guy that says he's gonna go after you, I mean, I don't know, but it is what it is, but Ashley clearly was gonna definitely pick Ivy because you know the battle blood between those, those guys, now, when they picked up, Instead of, you know, having them all eat together on the day and uh, Vandellas, they would have one team go in there and the, confess their case, whereas, you know, they have, they all, they, everyone's on the, it's on the high pole and whatnot. So, Hunter basically said that, uh, Johnny, you know, new people now, I'm not going after you, but we all know that's a lie. Like, the past history, you always were going after bananas, so let's be real about that. And then... Ashley's like, oh, you should set in Hunter because he's a big guy. He eats, and you know, why should we not say put in? And Ashley Carr was like, should we not put in the same person? And you know, why why would we not put in a person that just won two of the three challenges lately? So that's a good point right there. And then you have, um, then you have Sag and Zeta. Zeta just basically said you should you should definitely throw in Hunter because Hunter has it out for bananas and whatnot. So Zag didn't do much of the talking. It was just Zeta. So then after that was over. We see Wes and Hunter working against because they're big, they're big, um, go big enemy. That's Johnny. And Wes brought up a good point. Instead of you know going after me now, you gotta wait till you have numbers on your side. Then you want to send me any. You know, he brought up a good point. I mean, of me some bananas, but you know that uh, that sounds wrong. Pause. Um, you possibly should have get Wes out of the game like right there, like get him out easily. You know what I mean? Like you nowadays, I think now people want to get the the big guns out. They don't want to wait. They don't want to make a big power move. They want to get them out right now. Now, if you're a vet, well, it's a vet, yeah, make a power move. But if you're like a clear, like a second or a rookie, it's like, oh, man, uh, that might not be the best case. But I understand what Wes is saying, though. Now, they're going to work together, and they say, you know, just uh, stop Banana Summers. We might have to send in Leroy. Leroy overheard that. Then... The man wants to go over to Martin Black, or if you listen to what Johnny says, and blah, blah, she's just mad at the fact that, you know, her friend might be going in. Like, Amanda has no right, there's no place to be talking to Morgan like that. Like, it's just a man always starting stuff. Now, the house really got to the trouble with, uh, you know, Hunter and Banas getting into the argument that, you know, eventually Lyra got into it because they really want to talk about him. And I love Lyra. It's like, you know, it's like, this is all getting annoying. It's like, this has to be said. Hunter, as you took five hundred dollars from you, but you still want to go after the guy that you have a you, you still want to go after the guy that you know you have a bad love. I don't know if he has bad love for him, but it's like you, she took five hundred dollars from you, but you don't want to go, but you don't want to get rid of her. You're gonna argue with Johnny. Lear brings a good point. And then you know Lear also brought up she threw a dollar at you, bro, at the reunion. If that's not a sign of disrespect, disrespect after when you pretty much won her that money, it's it's a slap in the face, bro, and. I, I, yeah, I get cheers to Leary for that type, man. And Cam saying he doesn't. Leary doesn't want people to see him, see him as a layup. And Leary has done well. Like he's done well in past challenges. So I wouldn't sleep on Leary right there now. His part, his partner. Uh, we don't know about that. Well, that's another. That's another story. But uh, yeah. Um. So that's so that's what happened. You know, their man of uh, Hunter was all pissed outside. He tried to move to railing, but he epically failed at that. And you see, as you see out there. So I guess you know. Ashley C, Hunter, and, and Wes, you know, might be in a future alliance together and whatnot, which I think we're gonna see. We're gonna see that more of. So that then it gets to a part where you know, gets you. I mean, um, Jenna says, "Shut up, man!" And then you know, man, I was like, "I wasn't talking to you." Now I'm gonna drop the big bomb. That gets to like, and what's we'll our with Hunter, Hunter, and, and bananas? Goes over to Amanda and Jenna, and then Amanda drops a bombshell that she, that, she, that she was gonna bomb, just that she was gonna show at the reunion uh, Zach had a bumble account in which I always expected something more apparently Zach was saying he just wanted to see if it worked yada 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 I just think that was 
that wasn't cool to do, but I just think it was, I was spending a bigger bombshell. So he didn't cheat on her. Well, maybe, maybe plan on it. Apparently, he has, he said a bumble on Cal when they were in, uh, South Africa in the, in the last challenge. So I don't know what that was all about. But, uh, this, uh, Jenna was like sad. Like, I felt so bad for Jenna. Like, she was like saying, Zach, Zach, like, the guy, the girl that I hate is made, of, you know, the girl that I hate, and they look at the fool on natural TV right now. And then it's like, Instead of, you know, Zach apologizing for something he did, it's like he's making Jenna was, like, the bad person. I just felt so bad for Jenna. It's like, even when she didn't do something wrong, it still feels like she, Jenna felt like she did something wrong. It's like, I felt so bad for her, and I like those two together, but it's like, Zach, bro, like, you got a man on, like, hey, you know, that was wrong with me. So, like, he was all saying to her, oh, I'm done. It's like, it was just some dumb thing, and I like Zach, but it's like, bro, Zach, you have to admit when you are wrong sometimes, bro. Like it just, it doesn't work like that, man. I'm I'm sorry. So then, we we'll get to elimination. So, everybody saw. Oh yeah, everyone knew it was over for elimination. But the people that weren't picked, it's like, yo, we don't know what's gonna go on. Like, yeah, sure, those people are for elimination, but we don't know how. We don't know what our fates are sealed. Like so. So they got to elimination, right? So, the the people from the tribunal they would pick who goes in. But they, it's not like they vote as a team. Like each person is a separate vote. So Hunter and Georgia got the most votes. But you know, you look at some, you look at some of the uh, the uh, voting. Amanda, Amanda, and Josh voted for was it both? Was it Amanda and Josh? Well, one of them, both of them voted for. I think both of them voted for Hunter. One of them, one of them voted for Hunter and Georgia. So yeah, you know, the lines are crossed. Or lines are drawn right there. So. What was it gonna? So then, who was um, who was um, Hunter and Jordan gonna pick? I was thinking, you know, Leroy, because you know, they were saying, you know, we gotta get rid of Ben as numbers, but it comes down to he picked Ashley and Chase, and so we finally get the rematch. It was oh my god, Ashley took Ashley took uh, Hunter's money, so technically, well, technically they're not going against against each other. It's not like he's hitting he's hitting her, or she's hitting him, but you know. It is, you know, payback. It's like it's like a payback karma type of thing. So I'm happy that he picked her. It's like, hey man, this girl just disrespected you on national TV, man. Like you gotta get, you gotta get your revenge and get, go up against her. Now, <laughs> this elimination was pretty good. Like I forgot what it was called, but basically, you know, a drone ball drops from the sky, and you gotta get the ball and you just slam it to your to your opponent's side of the ball, almost like a game of football and uh football and mess with basketball. So when Chase and Hunter went. Hunter just obviously destroyed Chase. I think it was like best sweat of three or whatever, or aggressively first. I'm not sure how the score went, but uh, Hunter destroyed Chase. And then next round, Ashley beat Georgia pretty easily. The show they hear, you know, I'm still, you know, the champion one now. Well, it came down to th then Chase and Hunter went, but nobody scored. So then the th other, round, other round went for Georgia, and then Ashley went, and Georgia got the ball first, and she took off running, and, you know, Ashley and Chase were eliminated. I'm happy to see them see those two gone. I'm not like I said, I'm not the biggest Ashley fan. I just thought, you know, her I don't know Hunter personally, but you know, taking the money from him and also, you know, saying that he was a racist and stuff like that. Just, you know, just to make yourself look good. You know. I mean, yeah, Hunter got got his revenge, but at the end of the day, I mean, Ashley still Ashley still got a million dollars, so you know <laughs> that's still that's still in the end of the day you can say that she's winning, but you know, you know, hey, maybe now that says she stole the money, Karma, she she might be the new female Vanessa. How you know, ever since Bananas has stolen the money from Sarah, he hasn't won. He wasn't won anything, that, but now he, he could be, he could win this one. But actually, now that she stole the money, now this could be the start of something trending right now. So, yeah, I'm glad. Like whoever whoever who went home would have been happy. With, like Hunter, I'm like, eh, uh, but I can't send I can't send Ashley even more. So. Now, man, his numbers are pretty low right now. I think that, I mean, well, I don't know where she stands with Hunter and her alliance, but her biggest alliance with Ashley is definitely gone. That was her, that was her ride or die girl right there. So we're going to have to see what happens in the next episode. But right now, I'm glad that, you know, we had a challenge in earlier today, then an elimination. Like, I'm glad it's set to the, to the old schools of that because I just couldn't stand, you know, Friday record and Slayer, like, oh my god, but like I said, this season is, is off to a great start, like, at first I'm like, okay, 
how is it going to be? But the previews and everything, it looked promising, and, and it's already being promising right now. Two episodes, and like I'm liking this challenge. Like I said, it's a lot better than how Final Reckoning was. I would still prefer no teams, but you know this, this is it's actually it's showing problems. Like, it is showing problems, and I like it. The drama looking like it's going to be good. Even the competition, com, competition they've been doing have been really, really good. I just came up for the whole trivia one though, so we'll see. But you know. Let me know what you guys think about this episode below. Comment, put, put your in the comment section. And like I said, I am going to be doing this up every week now. No more bullshit and no more playing around. Get these episodes. So I said, I've seen that. You know, I got a good good amount of views from it. So it shows that people are watching. You know, I, I really thank you guys for watching. I, you know, sorry for the BS that I've been doing by not being consistent with this stuff. But, you know, here I am, new year, new start. So. This guy get, get, get this boy rolling. So, everyone have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.